smoked Cuban cigars. These aren't your typical cigars from Havana. These are barbecue Cuban cigars. Now I saw a video done by Lane Barbecue and they made this and I knew I had to do it. Anyway, I hope our audio is okay today. It's windy, like way beyond windy here in Florida. Hey, let's break out some pork and get this cook going. I picked up a package of these pre-cut boneless pork chops from the grocery store. You can see they're not very thick, which makes them a great choice for this recipe. The thinner the chop is when you start, the less work you'll have to do. And then take this meat tenderizer and flatten this guy out. I want it to be really thin. Now what I'm doing is I hit down on the pork chop. I'm also pushing out a little bit to help stretch the chop thin and flat. You want to be careful so you don't tear this bag and get goodness splattering all over the place. Now let's have a look. So you can see it's fairly thin and if you look here compared to the original size it's about twice as wide as when we started. I think this will work for us. Now of course every Cuban has ham. I've got some regular old boar's head ham here. You can use your favorite. And I just want to lay a piece down. Now we've got our ham, we're going to need some cheese. I've got some boar's head Swiss cheese here. I'll come in with one piece of this Swiss cheese on top of our ham. Now I'm coming in with a slice of dill pickle. And I know it may not be part of a traditional Cuban sandwich, but I'm going to include a thin slice of jalapeno for a little spice. Now we just want to roll this guy up as tight as we can. There's our first Cuban cigar. I'm just going to finish the rest of the bacon. Let's wrap a piece over the ends to keep our cheese from leaking out. And if I didn't mention it, this whole package of pork chops weighed about one pound. Then we're going to wrap each cigar around in bacon. I'm overlapping here by about a quarter of an inch. You will get some shrinkage as you put it on the smoker, so you do want some overlap. Now I just want to make sure that I get each of these cigars wrapped in bacon. This will just take a couple of minutes, but trust me, it's worth it. And in terms of cut, I would say this is a medium thick uh, bacon. It's not that real thick cut, and of course it's not the extremely thin. I didn't quite get this end section covered, so let's put on another piece. More is always better when it comes to bacon. Now there's one of our cigars. I'm just going to wrap up the rest of these in bacon. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you watch me wrap each one. But after I get them wrapped up, we'll move on to the seasoning step. I've got some sweet barbecue pork rub here. You'll want to get all four sides seasoned up. I happen to be using this J.M. Thomason pork barbecue rub. You don't have to have this one. Use your favorite pork barbecue rub. Let's get over to the grill. I'm using these smoking pecan pellets today, made from pecan shells. I've got this Grilla pellet grill set at 250 degrees today, and we're just going to place our Cuban cigars on this grill grate. Mustard. Every Cuban sandwich has mustard. Half a cup of apple cider vinegar two teaspoons of soy sauce. Next we want about one, two tablespoons of ketchup. I've got a third of a cup of brown sugar. And here we're going to put in about a half a cup of honey. Takes a little bit of time to get it out of this bottle. I think we're good. Now, I've got a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon chipotle, one teaspoon turmeric, and of course, mustard. One cup of mustard. 
we'll just simmer this Carolina mustard sauce for about 10 minutes. Let all these flavors marry together. It's been an hour and 15 minutes. Let's have a look. That bacon looks about the right color. So now we're gonna glaze it up with that Carolina mustard barbecue glaze we made. I'll do, you know, the top and the sides. We'll let them go five, 10 minutes for that to set up. And then we'll turn them over and do the other side. Got them all sauced up. Let's get this lid closed, finish this cook up. We'll check on these in about 10 minutes. 10 minutes have gone by. Let's turn them over and glaze that other side. Just going to turn each one of these cigars over sauce that other side. This is top. We've already got the other sides. Of course, you could put another layer on it if that's what you want to do. Got a little cheese starting to ooze out. I'm really looking forward to giving these a taste. Hey, it's been five more minutes. Let's check them out. And there's what our Cuban cigars are looking like. This pellet grill is providing that nice pecan shell smoke. And of course, some of that mustard sauce is dripping down, which is also contributing. Let's get these guys off of here. But just so we have a little color, I am gonna put a little chopped parsley on there. And these guys are gonna be hot, right? So we're gonna let them cool down a little bit. All right, let's see what looks like on the inside. There they are. We've got a little cheesiness in there. There's our pickle. That's going to be too big for me to bite. So I'm going to cut off a piece like this and we're going to do the taste test. Let's give it a try. It might be better than a Cuban. It's definitely, definitely got all those Cuban flavors going for it. You get that pickle and then that Carolina mustard sauce just sets it off. Hey, if you like this video, I got two more right down below.